If you're on Office 365, you may have noticed on modern lists there are these uh, flow and power apps options. Uh, and what the power apps option allows you to do is to go into your new item form. So here's just a default uh, SharePoint one and click customize uh, to give it a new feel. So uh, when you go in there for the first time, um, it's going to look pretty basic. It'll build the app for you. And then you can start making it your own. So this is what I've already worked on a little bit, um, just to show you what that looks like. And let's say uh, you did a customization, but you don't want to stick with it, and you want to switch back to uh, the original SharePoint form. Uh, so go ahead and just leave this Power Apps thing. You can publish or don't publish. Uh, since we're not going to keep it, I'll go ahead and publish this one. OK, and now we're back at the list. So go to your Settings wheel and List Settings. And then Form Settings underneath General Settings. And then uh, since we clicked Customize, it goes ahead and switches it to Use a Custom Form Created in Power Apps. Uh, you can also go into that form here, uh, but we're going to switch back to use the default SharePoint form. And as soon as we do that, before we even click OK, we're able to delete that custom form if we don't want to keep it at all. Um, or we can just click OK and keep working on that Power Apps form. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that and say OK, because I'm not going to use that again. And then uh, just to confirm, I'm going to go back into Form Settings, and it's using the default SharePoint form. And then uh, just to confirm one more time, I'm going to go back to my list. I'll click New. And then here we are back to the regular uh, SharePoint form.